Hi my awesome friends. Today I'm participating in a challenge, 5 under 5, and it's patriotic home decor. So come with me as we see what kind of DIYs I put together. So in DIY number 1, I decided to make a wreath. I got this wreath from the 99 cent store and I wanted to put something in the background so I'm going to use this uh, patriotic napkin. I had to build a base to attach it to so I took a paper plate, put a piece of doily over it and then I attached the doily to the paper plate and then I'm going to attach the napkin to the doily and I'm going to use Mod Podge to do that. Um, so that I can go ahead and hang the paper plate to um, the wreath. And here I am just mod podging away um, <laughs> that paper plate. And then I'm going to attach my um, piece of, um, it's, it's paper lace. And then I'm going to attach the napkin. Okay, here I am I'm getting that napkin place and I'm trying to smooth out all of those edges, make sure that there is um, no wrinkles. Of course, you're always gonna get some wrinkles when you um, get paper and napkin wet, but I did um, the best I could. So I'm just adhering all the edges, making sure that I get them all down um, completely. And I'm just checking to see where the wreath is going to um, lay on top of that. Um, so I can see if I'm missing any edges and I did see um, a spot where you could still see the the lace so I decided to cut out these pieces of um, napkin they were actually like a firework and so I'm going to go ahead and adhere those to that napkin and you see here I've attached I made punched holes and I'm going to um, throw thread the ribbon through there um, so that I can go ahead and secure that to the back of the wreath and I see that I'm doing that there and then I decided to jazz the front up so I'm going to go ahead and take um, these berry picks and these foam scatter from the Dollar Tree and I just simply start um, adding the picks in um, going around the wreath I'm only going to go that one little section and then I decided that um, stars putting the stars in there will add um, some um, you know more color and more uh, patriotic um, look to it and I was liking that so I went ahead and um, hot glued those in the specific areas that I liked and um, just got to be careful because that hot glue sometimes will burn that foam and then I decided I needed some little tiny ones at the bottom so I went ahead and added those and there you go and DIY came to a total of four dollars and forty eight cents and I met the challenge of staying under five okay so diy number two i decided to make a patriotic book stack and i'm showing you i'm um, just reds blues whites and then i decided to use the chalk paint instead of the acrylic paint because it gave me a better coverage and here is the book stack all painted up i made sure the lines went all the way around And now I've decided I'm going to put some wording. I don't have a Cricut, so I have to use these little stickers. I got these at this discount store that I go to, and they were a dollar a package. And you see that blue is not the correct blue, so I had to paint them, um, and that's what I did. I painted them a darker blue so that it would look um, cohesive. And here you go. I miss the filming of how I um, distressed it but I just used some white acrylic and then I used the uh, wax and then I just went around in different areas I rubbed it on and then I rubbed it off and that's how I got the um, the effect that I've got and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, add my twine and I'm just gonna wrap it around several times until I get the look that I want 
And now that I have that twine, I'm gonna go ahead and put the red and white twine on top of that. Uh, I only did that about three times um, just to, um, you know, help it out. It does look a lot better with the, um, the two colors. So here I am just look, looking it over, making sure I got all my um, pieces, my ends glued down, and it looks pretty good. Just straightening that up. And then um, I gotta have something on top of it. So I decided to make some of my faux foods. I use Model Magic clay. I made that donut about a month ago. Um, and then I decided um, to make a cookie on top of that. So I'm just showing you how you can make the donut without using a mold. And um, I've just made a little tiny one just so you can kind of get an idea of, of how you can make it without having a mold, of course. Now here's my cookie. I did have a mold for this. Unfortunately, I could not find it because I made this, this cookie um, several months ago and I had it drying. Um, so I just uh, took a piece of Model Magic, put it inside there, and um, then I'm going to go ahead and um, color coat these. And you can see I color coated them in the background. Um, on the cookie itself, I don't know why I didn't show the color, but maybe somewhere in the video I will show it. Now here I'm doing the donut and I used all these different colors, beachcomber and caramel. Then I decided to make a cake pop using a cut piece of toilet paper roll and place a thin piece of Model Magic over it. And then I um, attached a, a cut straw. And um, then I'm gonna go ahead and put some sprinkles. I have a little bit of sprinkles left, so I decided to do that. Oh, I um, used the super glue to adhere that straw to the cake pop. Now here's the cookie completed with the sprinkles and I did use the burnt umber for the coloring of the cookie and um, as you can see I use the same sprinkles on the cake pop um, so those look very patriotic I think and now here's my donut um, that I painted and I need to now embellish the top of my donut. So I'm going to go ahead and um, use some of these flag sprinkles that I had. and But I'm going to put a um, little design on the top with some slick paint. Um, I'm not as good as other people I've seen on YouTube doing this. I struggle a little bit. Um, this is my first time with this um, slick paint. Um, but it, it was okay for my first attempt and then I just simply added the little flag um, sprinkles and a little bit of glitter. Glitter makes everything better, don't you think? <laughs> and here it came out so cute. I love it. And so for this particular DIY, I did pretty good um, on my... Um, final I have 273 but I'd like to say I spent a little bit more maybe 50 cents more because I forgot to add the sprinkles into my um, final tally there today's five under five DIY challenge has two hosts Missy and Emily and then the guest for today is Tammy Emily is from Farm Charm Chic, and Missy is from Crafty Cove Home Decor DIYs, and Tammy is from The Rusted Willow. So go check their pages out. I have a link to their pages in the description Now box let's below. move on to DIY number three. In this DIY, I took a glass lantern from the Dollar Tree actually $1.25 and I didn't like the way that it looked on the bottom so I decided that it gave me room for adding some twine so I just put a generous amount of Mod Podge and then I decided to um, just simply wrap that twine around um, and continue to just move that twine down and you know get it so that there is no um, empty spaces and that Mod Podge just kept it in place really well. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just add a um, 
layer of Mod Podge over it just to make sure that it completely adheres. Kept getting out of frame. I do apologize for that. I'm learning how to <laughs> film and I'm not, I'm not good at it yet. So, and um, again, just uh, making sure I've got Mod Podge completely um, surrounding it. And I didn't pay, take a picture of it, but I did go back over once the Mod Podge was dried and um, ran a lighter over those little loose ends okay so here i am just adding some um, red and white twine um, over that as well um, just to give it um, a nice color coordination um, with some of my other projects that i've done okay so here i have it done and it looks really good i think the red and white really enhances um, what i did in the bottom and now i'm just going to make a simple bow um, to the to the top and you see i was checking to see where the um the best angle was before i made my little bow it was just a simple um you know like tie your shoe bow and then uh, clip the little ends off and then I was ready to add some flowers so in this case I um, was trying to keep my budget down so I just used three flowers from a uh, pick that I had and I used some straws for the bottom part so you wouldn't see the stem and then in that white flower I just added um, a flag sprinkle to the top just to you know another patriotic tribute and so this total um, was 325 so I did really good on this one as well now moving on to DIY number four so I took this little frame that I had at Thanksgiving time um, I actually got it from the 99 cent store and I didn't want to um, change the front so I thought why not use the back so I'm going to use this uh, napkin and I'm just going to adhere it to the back of this um, frame I really like um, the pedestal that it sits on so I didn't want to completely change it because I wanted to use it um, for both 4th of July patriotic and for um, Thanksgiving still so here I'm just um, you know doing a like a whitewash um, effect because I wanted to tone down that wood color and um, I think I did a pretty good job and then I decided hey why not um, distress the napkin as well just to make it look a little old and I think that turned out great. It toned down those bright colors. And uh, so I decided to do the, the pedestal as well. And the nice thing is I did that all the way around and it looked nice with the other side. So it was a success. So then I decided, hey, I needed something else here. So why not take apart one of those necklaces from the 99 cent store that has the stars on it and add it around the frame. And then I just made a simple little bow out of Dollar Tree ribbon and I applied another one of those flag sprinkles. And there you go. That DIY was great. And I only spent $3.54. Now on to DIY number five. In this DIY, I went to my recycle bin, well, actually my closet, where I store a lot of these things. And this is a roll from uh, wrapping paper. Um, the higher end wrapping paper still has these rolls. And because I only had one, I had to use a paper towel roll. So I'm gonna put a coat of this paint that I got from Home Depot. And then here's the three colors that I used for the, each of the tubes. And here's my tubes painted. And now I'm ready to apply some Mod Podge and some diamond dust. That'll sprinkle it all up. So I'm kind of out of frame again. I don't know what's going on with me and my filming, um, but I'm just putting some Mod Podge on. Um, I'm gonna put a liberal amount and then I'm going to um, sprinkle on the first one I just did um, diamond dust and on the second one I was like I need a little bit more pizzazz so I put some other sprink sprinkle glitter on as well so that kind of gave it a little bit more dimension and that Mod Podge will dry clear um, and you won't see that milky whiteness 
And here I've just taken a piece of white paper um, and then made holes in it so I can stick the um, little fireworks, um, whatever those picks are. And then I'm gonna hot glue that to the top and then that will be like my fuses or the fireworks coming out of um, the firework tube. And here I put them all together and I had a little bit of sprinkles so I just put it around the edge of the white because the white was just too boring. And now I'm going to adhere, I, I adhered them all three tubes together with a little bit of hot glue and now I'm just tying um, some ribbon around and I decided I wanted to use this red and then I also bought um, a blue colored ribbon um, to go around. And um, I decided I didn't want the blue after all. I found this one little strip of red, white, and blue ribbon that I had. And so I decided to use that instead. Um, and then I took that blue and red ribbon and made a bow um, to adhere to the front of it. And um, off camera, I didn't film it, I'm not sure why, but um, I took another two other necklaces apart and um, put those stars on the white oh well on the tubes um just to give it another layer of color and dimension and i thought it turned out pretty cute and this um uh, was three dollars and 54 cents for this diy so another success i stayed under five dollars for each of my diys today and here's the final reveal hope you like it Thank you so much for stopping by and seeing my DIYs today. And if you're not already subscribing, please consider. And if you like what I did, please give me a big thumbs up and give me a comment on what you liked best and what you think I could have done better. I am here growing at Blossom Your Creativity and I'm learning every day. And for those of you who are already subscribing, I want to thank you for your continued support and I truly appreciate your friendship.